I felt like pre-planning was a gift to our children. What better way is there to say I love you than to say on this terrible day, we are going to make all the decisions for you so that you can just do what our religion mandates that you do. We are Stephen and Michelle Toltz. We have two kids, Sydney and Jack Toltz. They're teenagers. And we have four cats and we've been married 23 years this month. I am a third generation Denver native and I am the president of Dependable Cleaners, which is an 84 year old family business. I grew up in Parker, Colorado. Um, my father still lives out there. He has five acres. He considers my move to Denver the big city. I brought the idea of advanced planning home to Michelle because selfishly I wanted to lock in 2012 pricing, um, hopefully for a long time into the future. When my mom died, it was one of the hardest times in my life and I was already grieving and to try to figure out what she wanted, what kind of service and how she wanted to go was really difficult and there wasn't really anything written down. As a matter of fact, she was comatose in the end, so she really wasn't able to convey anything. It's similar to having a baby, there's no book. So what would that person really want? So the second motivation for advanced planning was based on an experience I had about 30 years ago. My grandfather had passed away after a long life and in the morning the next day my father came and woke me up and said, come on, we're going down to Feldman's to make arrangements. I had no idea what that entailed and I was like a young man, wide open, and we sat down and there were all kinds of questions. And then we went into a room which I wasn't expecting, and it was filled with caskets, which was surreal. And all of the decision-making was really onerous. I didn't want to put my kids through that, or anyone. I want to set forth what I want so that they could feel complete that they did what they were supposed to do. When I converted to Judaism, one of the things I read was that you should just have a simple pine box. When we came to pick out our caskets, I asked Jamie which one Rabbi Goldberger was buried in, and she pointed to this simple box, and that's the one I chose. I preferred that. I wanted the nice one. <laughs> Jamie was really sensitive to the fact that Michelle and I come from different backgrounds. Although we've been together for over 23 years, we don't know a lot about some of these things, and they knew when it was appropriate to use humor and when it was appropriate to get down to things that we really didn't know about each other. Jamie made this a smooth and easy decision process. She had no judgment. She was very kind and sincere and cared about our choices. I just love her. Pre-planning, this was one of the best ideas we've had. It gave me a peace of mind touring the facility on a day in which our feelings were light and lively and not morose and sad. I actually found a comfort level in going and seeing exactly what the process is. I no longer really have a mystery about death. It took care of that for me.